Okay, so this is Sean B. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy. I'm at the National Auto Buy Tell uh, sales event, Double Your Sales. And when I'm in Huntington Beach, California, I'm going to quickly go through. It's the end of the day. Okay, we're blitzkrieged. What did you get out of today's workshop? Um, some of the best information I got out of today's workshop is um, how to actually you know, show my dealers and help them with their process and being able to contact more customers and get more sales. Okay, awesome. Now, um, over here, so question for you is, did you feel that it was valuable to turn around and have a, a, a car dealership consultant come in and teach a corporation like Auto Buy Tell about automotive internet sales? And if so, why? Oh, I thought it was absolutely valuable. Um, when we're speaking to the dealers, we like to know what they do on their end and, and how they go through the process. Okay. So definitely liked it. Okay, so definitely. let's go over here. Jared, let's find out what did you learn that you could take back to your clients you know, as an Auto Buy Tell rep. What's your title? Oh, well, I was a regional account manager, now a product manager, but okay. I know I know the other side. Uh, the biggest thing is that, for me, I like the 10-step phone process. So it helped you yeah. see in a structured phone process? Yeah, definitely. So lot. it was like light and day for you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about you? I think I like best about learning to use social media to help build my Rolodex as far as contacting dealers and reaching out to dealers who I may not have had contact with before. So oh. definitely going to use social media. Okay, awesome. Let's go back over here. We're going to start and go down the line. What did you, sir, get out of this? Well, um, quite a bit, but I think the main thing is we tend to get so focused on what we need, we forget to focus on what the dealer needs. What's one thing that you learned that the dealer needs? Uh, more training. Okay, good. More training. Okay, you, sir? Um, I think overall just the, uh, um, the processes that uh, dealers have to uh, implement on a daily basis to be successful and how we're going to be able to implement our product into that process uh, to sell more cars for them. So it was fantastic. Okay. And what, what territory do you work in? In Northern California. I'm an okay. account manager there. And I think uh, what I took away from this that really st stood out to me is encouraging the departments to have the team A, team B, um, making the appointment centers and then the salespeople. I, I don't see that very much at all. So. But it, makes, it made a lot of sense to you. It made a lot of sense. And I know you're based out of Texas. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, what did you learn from this that you could help your Texas dealers be well, more I, successful? I definitely uh, learned to be more well-armed when I actually discuss with the uh, dealers what's going on as far as rebuttals and what to come back with if they come with any objections. Okay, perfect. Let's go through. I'm, I'm going to ask some different questions. We covered earlier today, you know, the, the statistics. And one of the things that I, that I went over, gentlemen, as I said that, you know, that the average internet prospect is searching five to eight other different dealerships and they're getting, you know, bombarded. I saw the faces in the room when I talked about the science of communication. Can you either, I want you to talk about either the statistics that I went over or the whole concept of science of communication. Did you get anything out of that? Yeah, I mean, I just think it's important that dealers understand that because, uh, you know, I, maybe in the old days it was one lead, one one dealership, one territory, but that's just not the case. And I like what you said, that price is only relevant with the essence of value. That's Absolutely. Huge. So huge. It, it is. A lot of people might have the misinformation of that they can't make gross off the Internet, but, you know, you have almost 4,000 dealers, I guarantee you, because a lot of them are my clients, you know what I mean? Uh, they're making money with the Internet leads. It's about the process protocol, and I, I'm glad that you said that, is price is only relevant with the, you know, absence of value. So if you build the value, you know, you're going to be making gross on Internet deals. Anything from you, sir? I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> Ditto. In the uh, four Ps and making sure that Processes. I'm going to go down here for that because that, I'm going to ask that question too because I'm going to keep this moving. So for the four Ps, who wants to tackle that one? We talked about that an internet department is made or broken in four key areas. Anybody ever heard it broken down like that, like the ecosystem that I mentioned before? Okay, so. Uh, people, product, process, and promotions. Mm -hmm. So what did you get out of that section the most? That I would say that there are additional best practices to implement to make the dealership more successful. So it's not just, in your case, since you're Auto by Tell, it's not that you, like, let's say, which I believe, obviously, Auto by Tell is one of the absolute best lead source providers, but you could have one of the best lead source providers, hence Auto by Tell, it might not be enough. If, they, if the dealership doesn't have the right amount of people, the right people, the trained people, they don't have a process, or their computer's jacked up, or their serum's messed up, it doesn't matter how awesome your leads are, you're only as good as the rest of the piece. Yeah, Four-legged stool. Exactly, Okay. So anybody else got anything out of today over here that you'd like to share? I just thought the importance of networking with other vendors is, is a big thing. You know, work, work with each other to help each other out. You have a whole team now instead of just, just working on your own. 
actually, I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to come back over here. Let's just go through this quickly. What did you get out of today? Uh, I think the biggest thing I got out of today was learning how to track my own progress, my goals, not just with uh, Auto Vitel, but in everything that I do. So okay. it really helped me out with setting, uh, setting expectations for myself. Okay. Tracking. What about you, sir? A lot of really solid, uh, you know, detail-oriented stuff in, in the process, but just as, as a generalization, uh, really just trying to, to bridge the disconnect between our everyday culture and what happens every day at a car dealership. I think that the closer we could get to understanding them and appreciating their day-to-day, -day, uh, I think the, the better we'll be. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, now, Joyce, you've been in the business for how long? Uh, 22 years. How long with Auto Buy Tell? 17. Okay, now this is the first time that you've ever had training from Dealer Synergy and myself, correct? Yes. So how is someone like you that's been a veteran in this game and with Auto Buy Tell going to benefit from me coming into your national event? Like, what did you get out of this that you could take back to your dealers? I think uh, some of it was just reminders of man looking at the phone calls and sharing that information with the dealers, making time to do that instead of just focusing on sales all the time for mm -hmm. myself. <laughs> and uh, making a, the methodical plan thing and sticking to it for your goals, like finding your goal ahead of time and having the dealer do that too. Right. Uh, set their goal out there and having the plan to get there to the goal. Over here. Uh, I think I took, uh, the, the biggest thing for me was the value added proposition. Yes, uh, it, I was waiting for that one. Yeah, and, and incorporating that into my daily uh, sales efforts and making sure that I have a value to add to the dealership uh, instead of just uh, slinging leads. Instead of being just a lead slinger, providing a unique value package proposition, you guys are the ones that started this thing. You know, I mean, you're the Leviathans in the industry. And, and again, I'm so glad to hear you guys say that. It, I want you to walk away from this workshop and, and not just be a lead slinger, sell awesome leads, but be the liaison, the consultant, the advisor, the uh, field intelligence you know, provider, the all and powerful Oz, if you will, to the dealers. Now, because of time, I'm just going to pick if anybody wants to add anything from this side. You know, did you get anything out of this for I yourself? I would just say being two weeks new to Auto Buy Tell, this has given me a lens to approach this new position. Um, that is very exciting for me. Okay, so we've heard from an experienced veteran and a fledgling at Auto by Tell. So this gave you this gave you a lot of good insight. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go. Anybody else? Yes, I would like to speak. Uh, I've been to a number of seminars through the years and have heard bits and pieces. I've never seen a presentation that brought all the those bits and pieces together and reinforced it for the entire group. It was awesome. And how long have you been with Auto by Tell? Uh, Thirteen years. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Now, over here, because we're one out to the to Scott over here, um, what's the one thing that you guys could say that, that you could just immediately implement, like tomorrow or whenever you're back with your clients? Point of interest, not point of sale. Ah, explain what that means real quick. Um, you're not just slinging. Yes. Yeah. The internet. Value. The internet is not an instant gratification. It's a follow-up department. You know, it's a 45 to 90 day opportunity. You know, so there. You know, there's. You need to have time to gestate. I'm going to give you one something, and then I'm going to go to Scott, and then I'm going to kind of, you know, cut short because we have to, to skedaddle. One thing that I said that was really important that I want you to remember, um, I kind of teased it right now. Anybody remember what it was? I got it, but one of the biggest things that was like an aha moment, the gestation period. Remember that? That's something that you could all go back to your dealers and wow them with. Okay, I'm telling you right now, the average buying cycle is 45, 90 days. That's what queued me up for this. And, you know, the most, the average dealership, anybody remember the number, has what? 7 to 11. 7 to 11. That's right. 7 to 11 is their window period. So if you go back to the dealerships and you say for February or for last month or whatever month it was, how many used cars, I mean, how many new and used cars did you sell off the internet? Find out when the date the lead came in on, the date the lead closed, and the window period. Add up all the window periods divided by the amount of deliveries. And then that's what your average station period is. And you could just be rock stars by going to your dealers and saying, you see this? You have a 7-Eleven average window period. You need to be higher. And then you could, you could provide ways and suggestions how they could increase their, their, their buying cycle period. Make sense? Scott, you're the final one. Um, you, you kind of orchestrated this thing here. What were you hoping to accomplish by getting a national training company that prim, pr primarily, not predominantly, but primarily services 
um, car dealerships like Dealer Synergy, we mostly focus with you know new and used franchised dealerships in the country, training the salespeople, the internet departments, BDCs, and phone sales. Why would you have an internet trainer come in and train a lead source provider? One word value, adding adding value back into the dealerships. Uh, we don't want to be a vendor. We want to be a consultant. You know, relationships make the world go around, and that's why you're here. We now, love you, home run man. Yeah. And thank you. Now listen, it was my pleasure really to be here, and my takeaway from this is I really hope that you all, you know, go back to your dealers and, and, and start the transference of energy. Start just, you know, basically giving them these little nuggets. And if you do that, remember how I